But once you're locked up inside that cage or you step inside that ring, it's really all just about you. The experience is yours. When you're at war, your experience is protecting all those around you as well as staying alive and losing friends and thinking that you could have done something differently and maybe someone would still be here. That's, that's a completely different kind of thing to leave and to come back to regular civilization and then to watch all the shit that you did in Iraq go to pieces now. You watch just fucking chaos over there now. Every day in the news, the, 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 whether it's the, the civil war between the Sunni and the Shia or whether it's what's going on with ISIS and it just seems like whatever gains that you guys made there are slowly being eroded every day. Does that also like pull at you? Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, you know, like I said, we fought, and when I say we, I'm talking about a giant group of 5,000 or 6,000 Americans or the 1-1 AD, just a huge group of awesome guys, soldiers and Marines, and we were a part of them. And so they, they, we all fought very hard for the city of Ramadi. I mean, this is, it's a city. It's a city like a city in America. It's a, you know, it's got roads and it's got houses and it's got building and it's got a government center. And it's got a soccer stadium. It's a city like what we have in America. And we went in there and fought to take this city back from these savages that owned it at the time. And why do I call them savages? It's because they tortured people. They skinned people alive. They beheaded people. They raped little girls and little boys. It was just disgusting. And so we went in there and fought against them and beat them. And what we did in doing that is the people that actually lived there, again, this is a city with human beings in it.